Hi, and welcome to the Woods Cooking Show. I'm your host today, Joey Quibodo, with Cash Save and Pickle Weekly here in Opelousas. And I'm Chef Jason Hugay from Steamboat Warehouse in Washington, Louisiana. And today, Joey, we have a very special guest. It's his and second time being really on the nice show. Really nice dish, too. Right, it's a beautiful dish. Um, I can't wait for everyone at home to see it. Like, we actually saw a picture of it. Mm -hmm. It's actually a seafood stuffed bell pepper. Oh, I love that. We actually do something like that at the Steamboat. His is a little different, and I'm excited to, to try it. It looks beautiful. So, Great. Um, he so, gave us a big long list of ingredients, mm -hmm. so we're going to get a couple of those today. Okay, um, where are we starting? One of them is going to be Parmesan cheese. Okay. So we do have some right here, Jason. You think it's probably what he's looking for? It's the exactly best choice. What we need. It's yes, a sir. really good product. Um, I mean, the, your craft is a little bit better, but still, this is still a great product to work with. Right. There's nothing wrong with this this product at all. So let's go ahead and get this. There's a few okay. other items, and then uh, let's go wrap it up. All right, let's go. All right, Joey, so uh, in this area, we are getting a couple of things that he needs, actually. Okay. Um, two items that he actually specified was panko breadcrumbs and actual regular breadcrumbs. So, um, basically, panko is breadcrumbs. It's just Correct. a Japanese-style breadcrumb. So... Um, Can we talk about Japanese-style? I think it's like a, not, it's not a finer grade, but like a coarser grade. It's coarser, but it's more crispy. Crispy. Like it's gotcha. crispy. So, um... Let's go, you have a couple of uh, different, you have a flavored one, Italian style, and you have the plain. That's correct. We both bought Progresso, which is a really good brand. Mm -hmm. um, this does a really good job on whatever you're frying or whatever. Well, and, let's um, go ahead and get the plain one. Just let's do the plain one. He okay. didn't specify, so let's go okay, get the plain. Panko, and then again, we do have all the other panko breadcrumbs, or regular breadcrumbs now, I'm sorry. We have the plain, the Italian style. We have the garlic herb. Parmesan. Yeah, I mean, so. So, I mean, that's two minutes. It's you can actually think. two minutes to choose from. So, uh, I think since we've gone plain on the plain panko, on let's go plain on this, uh, on the okay. breadcrumbs also. And Great. We got one more ingredient to get, so let's go grab. Okay, let's go. Okay, Jason, now we're in, I think, the last thing that we needed, one of the other ingredients that he's going to be using. And we're stuffing bell peppers today. Yes. And we got some nice, really green bell peppers that we have here at the cash saver. They're the fresh. Keys, yeah. Here's kind of a bigger one that we're going to use. Yeah, there you go. Probably for the stuffing. But also he's going to be using the red bell peppers, which is a sweeter one, right. in his the mix that he's mixing. And natural stuffing itself. Yes, yes. So we're going to grab one of these, and we're going to grab a couple of those. OK. So um, let's do that. And then let's head on to the boat. Head to the boat. Let's get our dish going. Gotcha. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're here again at the Must Cooking Show. We're actually here at the Steamboat now. We're our special guest, Duck, which is, his name is Brian LaFleur. We call him Duck. I'm sorry. Duck? Yeah. So, Duck is going to make us some um, a really nice seafood stuffed bell pepper. The pictures were amazing. Oh, so, yes. I'm excited to see this one. I'm so, hungry too. Brian, how do we start our dish, buddy? Well, I started out, I have, uh, I have some butter melting in a pan. We're gonna start off. We're gonna saute some red bell pepper. I like the red bell pepper. It has a sweet, sweeter flavor than the green. Also gives a good little bit of color to the dish. Yes, sir. Also, oh, yeah. a nice sweet flavor too. Also, I pre-chopped about a half a pound of Louisiana Gulf shrimp. Gonna get that going in there, sauteing and cooking. That's so, about a 26-30 count shrimp. Yeah. Come on, look at that. All right, sous chef Hugh Gay. That's right. <laughs> it's been a long time since somebody called you that. <laughs> I like it sometimes. Though, yeah. You know? Get that going in there. I'm gonna use some of uh, the Steamboat Warehouse house seasoning right here. Yes, sir. It's just out of sight. Which is available for purchase at your local Steamboat Warehouse restaurant. Oh, yeah. And a little bit of minced garlic here. I got probably about a, a tablespoon I'm gonna put in. It's one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. You, gotta, you can't beat fresh minced garlic. No. Fresh mints. Oh, the, yeah. Not the jar stuff. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. definitely not the jar stuff. I can't mess with the jar stuff. No, no, no. It dries out. Yeah. It has a bit of flavor. It's almost like it's not real garlic. You know, no, like no. Imitation garlic. I That's right. Yeah, That's right. It's horrible. Yeah, we get this going to where the, the shrimp's about three quarters of the way cooked because it don't take long and then start adding mm -hmm. our other ingredients yeah. in there. Simple. Oh, real simple, real simple. It's real healthy too with all the butter. Right, I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I mean, how often do we eat healthy around here, though? Yeah, yeah, I mean, this this is one of those things, you're not gonna eat it every day. Right, so it's splurge. You cheat, you cheat day. Yeah, right now. <laughs> That's right. If it's your cheat day, then it's just splurge. Have and not say the recipe for them. And eat as much as you want. Uh, That's right. That's, That's right. it. You see, all the all the, all the the calories in the last bite. 
So as long as you don't eat. Oh, your... don't eat the last bite. That's, that's right. That's, that's, that's right. The last bite you take, that's where all the calories is at. Just give it to him. <laughs> we'll give it to Dylan then. That's right. That's right. He needs it. Let's see the shrimp's coming along real good. It's starting to get pink. Actually. I know exactly where you can get all these local ingredients we picked up this morning. Yeah. That's correct. All the fresh ingredients that Ducks use here today can be found at your two stores here in Opelousas, Cash Saver North Side, I'm sorry, South Side, Piggly Wiggly North Side. Give them the addresses and numbers. 8410 Highway 182 North and 1305 Heather Drive. And you can call them at 948-9124. Uh, got all messed up. I messed up. It's, it's been a while since I said the numbers. Uh -huh. okay. Come on, Jason. You 948-8199. That's correct. Speaking of the cash Nine four two seven. No, no. Nine four eight. Nine four seven two. Nine four. No, I think you got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to confuse it, Jason. I know you're wrong. Oh yeah. Speaking of the cash saver, could you hand me that uh, cooking stock we got from over there? Sure. Yes. Some uh some seafood stock that really adds to the seafood flavor of the dish. And you got all kind of ways to do it. Like you got stock, you got the the paste, you got the oh uh, yeah yeah the, 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 the base paste is great. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. But there's a little bit of seafood stock. It really. A lot of people add water, but why add water when you can add flavor? All right. That's right, you know. exactly. So at this time right now, the shrimp's good. We got a good little base of liquid. Gonna add in our fresh lump crab meat. Mm, Jason's favorite. Mm. Oh yeah, you can't beat My that, favorite. bro. No. You can't beat that. You put lump crab meat and Cheerios and make it taste great. <laughs> I know. And Cheerios, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I mean, pretty Sounds much. Sounds good to me. Uh, Just gonna have to rip it open. Yeah, you're gonna have to rip yeah. it open. Yeah. Jason should be used to that by now. <laughs> I usually have a little, uh, a little knife, but we'll just add that to the end. How about that? Yeah, yeah. that's right. But anyway, let's show the uh, Louisiana yeah. products that we're yeah. using here today. Mm. It's a local product. Definitely. Right there, at the Little Bow area. That's right. that's right. I mean, we got all the fresh seafood around here. Why go anywhere else? Oh, no, no, it's, it's right. a wonderland. Yeah, I mean, we got the best of the best in the whole world, really. Oh, yeah. We do. You can't beat it. You can get your finger through there. It's, it's a tough. Uh, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's a tough package. It's tough for you, uh, like, even if you Well, they protect it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to go ahead and get some breadcrumbs in here. That's how you. You, you get the idea. At you home. round off the season. Yeah, we'll get the crawfish in here. Yeah. You just add your panko breadcrumbs until all the liquid is absorbed. And you get a good stuffing base. Now, Doug, on your, on your bell peppers and stuff, some people pour a ball on them ahead of time. How do you work yours? Well, really, all I do is I, I cut them in half, I, I de-stem them, mm -hmm. and I de-seed them, take all, all the, the white fibers out of them, and then they're ready to go, because we're going to be frying them. Okay. If we bake them, then yeah, we pour a ball on yeah. them some. Oh, that's where the different twist is, yeah. you fry them. Okay. Yeah, you fry gotcha. them. The, the, the additional heat of the, the, the all there. If you pour a ball in there, they'll just wilt and kind of right, fall apart. You want to yeah. still have some body to them. It'll be too, too, yeah. too uh, tender by the time you... That's right. That's right. Add just a little bit more seasoning. Now, Jason, you had that seasoning especially packed for you, right? Yes, a local company again, Targill. Targill, of course. Mm -hmm. All our friends at Targill. You know, fish it out with some fresh chopped onion tops and turn off our fire. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does, it does. It's kind of hard not to when you put all this fresh, nice, beautiful seafood, right? That's right, that's right, that's right. And then the garlic, the butter, the seasoning, the onions, the fresh onions just really pop it in. It gives it a great, great color mixture right here. The red bell pepper gives it that color. Just don't eat the last bite, Chase. That's, that's right, don't worst. eat the last bite. <laughs> at, this, at this point right now, what we need to do, we Where need is to, the last bite? The last one you take. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, at this point right now, you need to let you see, your stuff in cool a second. It's good maybe to put it in the fridge or the freezer for a little while. Well, that's perfect timing because we, it's time for a, a quick, quick break. So what we perfect. do is we'll go and put this in the fridge for a second. Perfect. Let it get you know, stiff it up a little bit. Yeah, and we'll come okay. back and we'll do our second segment of the show. Perfect. Sure, great. So join us back for more What's Cooking in just a few minutes. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Again, we have Doug with us today, and he's doing some nice seafood bell peppers for us today. Um, Doug, we stuffed a few of them ahead of time, and why don't you pick it up from here? Oh, yeah, well, in a break, we went ahead and sautéed our, our crawfish we was having issues with. All right, we, we got that mixed in the stuff. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, got some stuffed ahead of time. So I'll just... I snuck a taste. It was delicious, by the way. 
Oh yeah. Not the spoil the, <laughs> not the ending. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> well, I just stuff them in there real good, being careful not to split the bell pepper and get a little heaping. You snuck a taste? It wasn't the last bite, was it? Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, no. Well, you snuck two tastes. So <laughs> you probably. I didn't get the last bite. Yes. <laughs> you you pack it in there in real there. good. You don't want it to fall apart in the fryer. Right, I'm gonna put you this know? out the yeah. way to make you some room. Yeah. And right now, right now I'm working on a little butter rouge. It's gonna be the base for our sauce that we're gonna be cooking here in a little bit. Just melt down a little bit of butter here. It melts down fairly quickly. And butter roux is really simple. It's a blonde roux. Mm -hmm. You melt down butter and then you you add flour to all uh, you your butter is absorbed into the flour. Let it cook for just a hair. Just kind of get some of the bitterness out of the flour. Right, you're kind of cooking the flour. Yeah. Get a little toasty smell. Yeah. You're looking for a shade lighter than peanut butter on this. And you just add your butter real slow, your flour real slowly to your butter until you get the right texture. That should be enough. Rule of thumb is one equal parts, but I don't use equal parts. No, no. I, I sometimes use more flour than butter. Yeah, yeah. A lot true. of times you do. A lot of times you do. Now, if you're making a a traditional roux, like for a gumbo, a dark roux, then yeah, you'd go equal parts, but then yeah. you'd be using all of them, not butter. Right. Come on, I try to keep it a little silky, not not so powdery, because we are going to be making a sauce with it, and we got that that nice peanut butter color right there, and that's done. I'll turn the fire off for you. Oh yeah. So now what we'll be doing, we'll be dredging our, our bell peppers and getting them in the oil. Okay. All right. <clears throat> right. We got a seasoned mm -hmm. egg wash, seasoned uh, flour wash. We're gonna be doing a the flour, then the egg wash, and then the panko bread crumbs. The flour helps the egg wash stick. The egg wash helps the bread crumbs stick. All right. So we'll make our little station here. There you go. While you're doing that, we just want to remind everybody that uh, if you want to be a guest chef here on the show, you can always contact Delta Media and Karen Crow <laughs> and talk to Miss uh, Delta World. To who? <laughs> <laughs> to Miss Kathy, and she'd be glad to schedule love for um, an event over here with us on Tuesday yeah. mornings. Here at the Steamboat, come meet, meet us, and uh, we'll get you on the show and enjoy your wonderful food. Or right, you, Jason? You can also hit me up here at Steamboat, 337 826 You got that number right, you sure? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. <laughs> what you're looking for is just a light dust, and you don't want flour cakes on there, because then you end up with like- Too much batter, right? Yeah, it'd be more like a fried chicken batter, and that's not what we're looking for. We're not eating Popeyes today, we're no. eating bell peppers. That's right. And seafood. Just get a good little wash of the, the egg and milk mixture, and then dredge it real good and pack it in with your panko. Panko is, you want to kind of pack it on there because it's such a large break room, it will fall off. Yes, it's like two. Yes. And uh, I prefer panko to regular break rooms. It just makes such a- A, a crispier a, uh, uh, coating. A much crispier coating. Wipe my hands off here. You just drop them. That should be enough for them. Oh yeah. yeah. Got nice hot oil. Grease nice and hot. Get in there. And really everything is cooked, so we're looking just to fry for color. Right. Get the get a good nice golden brown on it. And Soften then our little bell pepper a little bit like we exactly, talked about earlier. Exactly, exactly. You don't want a, a mushy bell pepper. You want no. you want to have some body left right. to it. And there you go, we can start our sauce. There you go. Oh, it looks like it's coming out really good now. Yeah, mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks fast. Oh yeah, it doesn't take long. Yeah, it's gotta good. be the first time I've ever seen like a, a fried stuff bell pepper. No, that's local plate, like Swallows. Does, yeah, does oh, okay. a lot of places yeah. do it, a lot of places do it. Yeah. So, um, and they're really good. They're good. You know, every one I've ever had was good. Swallows makes a great one. Yeah. So I yeah, tell really, you what, really why don't nice. we let that go fry for a little bit. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then, like you said, we'll come back and we'll start our sauce. We'll start our sauce and plate. And then, yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, and eat. Yeah, he, not the last bite. Boo. No, not the last bite. You can have the last bite. We won't have. Oh, I already had a couple last bites. <laughs> All right, but Joan is back with more woods cooking in just a few minutes. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we are here. We got some. Uh, our bell peppers are down. I think they're about ready to be yeah, picked up. Yeah, the batch is ready right now. As a matter of fact. 
pick them up. Look how beautiful they came yeah, out. Great golden brown. Like, you were saying the panko gives it such a good texture. Yeah, and a good crust. Yeah. Like a good great, solid, great. Definitely, crispy yes. crust. Yeah. Now we have a wonderful sauce we're getting ready to put on it, right? Yeah, we'll let those cool down. I got some butter mix, uh, mix in here in, in my little saucepan. I'm going to start out with a little bit of smoked sausage that we got from the Piggly Wiggly. The pig. Uh -huh. 8410 Highway 182 North. Right. We want to render that down so that we get all the all the fat out of the sausage, just cook down. Yep. You don't want to bite into raw sausage. Right. It is smoked. Get some of the flavors out of it, too. Right, turn the heat up on this a little bit. Crank it up. You get that, that good flavor. And we'll add the rest of our garlic, about a half a teaspoon, just enough for some flavor. Yeah. It's smelling good, like I gotta say. Oh yeah, you, you get that, you get that, mm -hmm. that smoke flavor. Once you start smelling that. The smokiness. The good yeah. smokiness, it's gonna permeate the whole dish. Yeah. This time I'm gonna throw just a little bit of seasoning. With the butter in the pan, the seasoning is gonna really make a good color. Yeah. Now the sausage is really rendering down some. Mm -hmm. At this point. Love the smell of Well, Jason, why is doing that? Why don't you tell everybody where they can get all these ingredients at? They can get that at kdcg.com. <laughs> uh, you can get them from me over here at Steamboat, or you can get them from Joey at Catch Saver. That's right. All you gotta do is ask. If you want to be a guest on the show, you can do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Or you can email me at Chef Hugue, that's C H E F H U G U E T, at yahoo.com. And I will fix you up. You want to be a guest? I mean, a, a guest chef? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, be able to help them too. Yeah. And let us know. And then you can get all your fresh ingredients at the Piggly Wiggly or Cash Saver. 8410 Highway 182 North. That's Which 948. Is 9427. Got it right this time. Or Heather Drive, which is Cash Saver, and that's mm -hmm. 1305 Heather Drive, which is 9488199. Perfect, Jason. You perfect, got perfect. it. Well, right it's now we have slipping. some heavy cream in here. We can let this reduce by about half. Good. Yeah. You can tell when it's ready. You see it's going to start foaming around the edges. Mm -hmm. Whenever it foams up, then you're ready to, to proceed with your sauce. And if you're putting the cheese in there, it's going to kind of. Yeah, it's going to silk it, it out. Bit. Stick yeah. it out. That's gonna be a perfect little accompaniment. Oh to yeah, the, uh, oh yeah, the yeah. Pepper, especially with the seafood. The seafood, exactly. There's a little bit of smokiness. That we got some cherry tomatoes. It's gonna give it some acidity. Yeah, it's gonna work real good. Color. Exactly, exactly. You see, we're starting to get a, a little foam. It's starting to reduce well. Mm -hmm. At this time, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this butter we made. That helps thicken it up a little bit. Helps it and move along. A, a general rule of thumb is: the less your roux is cooked, the more thickening power it has. Exactly. An actual dark roux has a lot less thickening power than a white roux or a black. Right. See, it's already it's already starting to thicken yeah. up. Just that little bit of roux. Don't take much. No. And then, and then the cheese. We come with our parmesan. You want to kind of be easy with the parmesan. It is a very salty cheese. Yeah. As you can see. And the good thing about the steamboat seasoning is very light on salt. Exactly. It's not a heavy on the salt. That's Ours has more flavorings than it is spice, which. Yeah. I know Joey don't like it because it doesn't have as much spice to it. Add a little like bit a more cream in here, just to <laughs> cream it out hot, some. Hot, hot. And look how easy that was. Oh yeah, Simple. quick, 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 quick. And finish it with some tomatoes, mostly for color. Some cherry tomatoes we cut earlier. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful cherry Got tomatoes. Those from the pig. That's right, that's right. A little bit of green onions just to give some color inside the sauce. Very simple. A little bit of flavor. We go ahead and cut the heat on this, and it's time to plate. Hey. Oh, very nice. See what I'm gonna pick out. I've already picked out the best looking Let one. Let me uh, get a base on this plate okay. first here. <clears throat> Jason, just make sure you pick up the one without the last bite in it. That's right. I think the last bite is still in the fryer. The last bite is still in the fryer, right. so we're doing good here. Okay, great. Perfect. Got oh, us a yeah. little base to, to go with. You just finish it coming across like that. See, that's perfect because you still want to have some of that crispy. You, you, want, you want to taste the crispiness. If you put too much, going. it would have exactly. made it, you know. Look, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. Oh, you all right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be you when I grow up. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't I made but it. But Jason didn't grow up yet. Look how small yeah. he is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I'm grown. And there we have it. Seafood grown stuffed old. bell pepper with a nice little cream sauce. Wow. Now, how amazing does that look? We're going to be eating good today. I can't wait.
Mm. I can't yeah. wait to dig in. What kind of wine would go with that, Jason? What one would you recommend? Any kind of white wine. I would stay away like from the fruity Gucci. wines just because yeah. it's me. Uh, but any kind of mm. seafood, you really want to... Like a like Chardonnay or something? Chardonnay, or? a Pinot Grigio. Well, some kind I of something like a Pinot Grigio. Maybe a Sauvignon Blanc, but the one that's not so sweet. Like um, a Moscato. You don't want a Moscato. Nah, no, 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 no. I mean, if you're going to do that, you might as well... Uh, Get some night train or some Thunderbird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Jason. Taking it back to high school there, brother. Right. I know. <laughs> we did some damage in high school. Oh, yeah. Them. Oh, yeah. Um, let's tell everybody again if they want to be a, a guest chef on the show, you can always contact Miss Kathy at Delta Media. Delta Media. Not Delta World. <laughs> and or you can call Jason or contact Jason. And welcome to be on our show. We shoot it every Tuesday um, early in the morning here at the Steamboat. Here mm -hmm. the Steamboat. And uh, we'd love to have you and your recipes on here. We'd like if to share have, with everybody. If you have something you want to promote as far That's as correct, event, yes. Uh, any kind of fundraiser you're doing. You want to yeah, do that, exactly. Have a cook off going on. We do a lot of fundraisers around this area. That really helps a lot of people. Um, Speaking of the squirrel cook offs coming squirrel up on the 28th, which off, yes. don't make plans. <laughs> you're gonna be here helping me judge. You got it. You got <laughs> it. Too. I'll, I'll be here anyway because we the the. the Dream Team is going to be here doing the uh, auctioning okay. and well, stuff. Perfect. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. That's awesome. I can use all the help I can. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. But y'all come yeah. every year and help me, so oh, I yeah. appreciate y'all guys. Oh, y'all yeah. always help me when I call, so. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, we'll always be there for you, Jason. I know it. It's vice versa. Mm -hmm. that's, how that's, you, that's, right. that's how it works. That's, that's right. Help that's, each how, other. that's what's Definitely. great about, you know, where there right. we live. We're Everybody right. kind of knows each other and helps each other. And it's all based around food. It is. At some way, shape, or form. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So one That's where more all time, the good stuff is. Let's tell them about Cash Saver one more sure. time. Sure. Um, like I said, all the ingredients that here, all the ingredients you want, you can find at Cash Saver or Piggly Wiggly here in Opelousas. Uh, again, two locations to serve you. We have 8410 Highway 182 North, or oh. north side of Piggly Wiggly, or 1305 Heather Drive, which is the Cash Saver on the south side, and we all have wonderful things, wonderful people to help y'all, complete meat department, we have seafood, Anything you need, panko breadcrumbs, we got them. Oh, you got everything. Yeah, anything you need. And yeah. if they don't, I'm pretty sure they can get it. We can That's get it right. for you, yeah. If it's That's a specialty right. item that we're able interest to find it, yes, we'll be item, glad. Let them know, because they will take care of it. They always do. I really like y'all's meat selection, too. Oh, oh yeah, we, yeah, we try yeah. our best to get really it. The, the best selection. of the best right. out there, yeah. yeah. So, and again, thank y'all so much for watching the Worst Cooking Show. Jason, we'll be back next week with another wonderful chef. Sure Doug, thank you so much well, again. Thanks for having me. For As coming always, to always us. Always a pleasure to have you, Always, man. always but great. And, uh, always we'll we'll see you in a couple after. of weeks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, with the squirrel cook call. Oh, definitely, we'll, definitely. We'll I'll be, be here. here at the bow judging and stuff like definitely. that. So, Jason, I'm sure we'll see you too. Yeah, you sure will. And hope to see y'all <laughs> at the squirrel cook off. Join us back for more Worst Cooking next week. <laughs>